Hi, I'm Zachary Stank. Today we're going to review how to connect Phoenix Contact's PSR switch non-contact RFID sensor to a safety relay capable of handling OSSD inputs. We use a Unicode type PSR switch setup for automatic restart and a PSR MC40 as our safety relay. Let's review all the parts we're going to use. We'll be using a PSR switch Unicode sensor, a PSR switch actuator, an A-coded 8-pin M12 cable, one PSR MC40 safety relay, eight terminal blocks, and two bridges. The first step is to connect the PSR switch sensor to the M12 female connector. Just line up the coding notch and screw in. Next, let's review how the cable connects to the sensors and which wires are which. I've already connected the leads from the M12 cable into these numbered terminal blocks, so it's easier to follow along. First, we'll connect pins two and pin seven to 24 volts and zero volts DC respectively. These are the power connectors for the switch system. Second, we'll connect pins one and pin six to the 24 DC supply. These are the safety inputs FI1A and FI1B, which are used for the safe series connection of several safety switches. Say that 10 times fast. Since we're only using a single switch in this example, we can connect them to the 24 volt DC supply or using this bridge. Next, for the automatic startup behavior, the sensor expects a clock signal from the FO1A safety output. So we'll jumper on pin eight to pin three using this bridge. If this connection is not present at power on, the sensor will expect a manual monitored reset into pin eight instead. Finally, we'll connect the safety outputs FO1A and FO1B to the safety relay sensor channels. Pin three connects to S12 and pin four connects to S22 of our PSR MC40 relay. We won't use the diagnostic channel in this example, so pin five does not need to be connected. Now that all the connections have been made, we can turn on the power. Notice that on power up, the PSR switch has a five second self test and then immediately goes into learning mode. Learning mode is initiated on first power up and for the Unicode every time you power on without a paired actuator in range. Let's start the learning process by bringing the actuator in range of the sensor. The learning process takes about 30 seconds to complete, reducing the possibility of an accidental pairing. Once the learning is completed, the red LED turns on and a power cycle is required. Again, on power up, the PSR switch does a five second self test, but now immediately goes into the functional state. For more information on the PSR switch, visit us at phoenixcontact.com slash PSR switch, and be sure to check out more videos like this on our YouTube page.